Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. I'm back in this... Uh, the last time you saw me, I was over on my ship. I decided I want to come back into town just to take a look around to see if anything has changed. And I don't think it has. But I had... I had here... Because this is like the hospital kind of thing. I never came in here. Look. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. I go where I want. I'm not going to say that. Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Really? I don't mind. Why? What's going on here? You make it sound like I'm being watched. Yeah. Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. I think I can do that. I got some training. I can take a look at you. Oh, what the heck? Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. You obviously need help. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. That's ridiculous. You can't blame yourself when you fall sick. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. Why not? I told you once already. People could be listening. Not anymore. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Abba said she was going to distribute some medicine to those who needed it. Esther's got medication? How? Did the boss get a new shipment? I'm sorry, it's just I thought we couldn't spare the medicine. Nope, I'm sorry. I can't accept help from Esther. If I deserved treatment, I wouldn't be here. You stupid. Why? Oh good, that's easy. You're not gonna do yourself by punishing yourself like this. I heard the company's looking to promote healthy workers because I said so. Stop moping. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. That is exactly what I've been doing. Not my place to doll out punishment. Not even against myself. All right, you made your point. If Esther offers to treat me, I won't turn her down. Good. That's how you do it. Two people right. Should run. That's right, I sure did. You're lucky. Dang it. They're fast little critters, aren't they? We'll get them. Gotcha. Good job! It's about time somebody helped out. Where's that? Did he go in here? Ooh! Did you get him? Nice job! Awesome! That looks like the guy from the from the, the store, the general store. You don't look too good either. No one looks too good in here, I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna steal that. You don't look good. I don't have to steal that, so I'm good. They're dead, so I guess I can take stuff from the dead. Hmm. Alright, they're dead. Move. Am <coughs> I around me? No one sees me. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> I'm such a thief. 
You didn't see that. All right, so I guess we're okay there. Let's go talk to some of these other people and see what they say. I don't know if, if it changed anything. Oh, I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Oh, okay. What can I do for you? You sound like you had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Only if we use the term doctor loosely. <laughs> so, so you prepare corpses for burial. Pretty specific job description. I'm guessing you were trained at, at medical school. Experience was my teacher. Experience and... So, you want to be an embalmer. Brochures 1 through 5. Courtesy of the Spacer's Choice Department of Career Development. Okay. Go ahead. I'm told you you can kill what happened. I saw all this, right? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse. And I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. I think I did paranoia this one. drove him to take his own life. So the town never had to pay a penalty. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Okay, I think I'm done here. Goodbye. Yeah, pretty much. Alright. What the heck? Yeah, I'm not even worried about it. Come on, let's go. So, really, nothing has changed that much from what I'm seeing. This is uh, the bar, so let's see if anything in the bar has changed. You're not a big drinker, are you? No. Chill out. Town's been humming with power. Somebody must have been down in the old plant. Okay, something did change. Oh, yeah, Mark. That would be me. All right, so nothing here. Come on, let's go. I'm not a big drinker. What are you asking me I'm a drinker for? Well, that's not cool. So let's head over here. I don't think she can still talk to me. Man, you've been laying in on here a long time. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Plague must have gone into their brain matter. I don't know who that could have been. Let's go see this dude, because he's the one I uh, didn't give the medicine to. Somebody's been running around talking about the hope. That's me. I wonder if that's a new drug of some kind. You what? But why? I was dependent on you. Does it feel good? Robbing an old man of his last shred of hope? See what I had to do. Betray a man in his final hours? Of course. I understand. Well, I'd probably do the same to you, given the chance. So, you you're just here to watch me die, or what? Yeah, why not? That'd have been awesome. Alright. Did what I had to do here. Mm, nothing here. Okay, I stole my, my share. So, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Uh, let's see if she has anything to I've say. I'm feeling pretty low these days. Hey, who's this I've never guy? actually been in here. Seemed scary from the outside. I've got nothing on my bounty board. That's a good feeling. Okay. Good to know. Oh, man, you're awfully close. Uh, I've been there. So it looks like nothing really changed, I guess. Maybe you go in the chair. You know what? I'm not going. Let's get let's get out of here. Saltuna. Well, the preacher should not be in here. He left. Yeah, 
he did. He's gone. He is gone. What's up, dude? Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Alright, so let's head to my ship, it looks like. It's just, there's nothing else. Yeah, we went to that. Don't need to go there. We got some. Actually, we got stuff I can sell. Something got you down? Nothing's got me down. All good. Work your jaw on some spacer's chaw. All right. And I think your twin's over in the sick area. You might want to take a look. Uh, let's see your trade. Music to my ear. So, all right. Uh, I do have a lot of stuff I gotta sell. Look at that. all this stuff. I don't really need much. Ninety-four DPS. Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of that. I'll hold on to that one. Okay. No. Okay. Give her a bunch of this stuff. So, oh, I sold the bread. How am I supposed to freaking make toast? I got a lot of these things. I have to look them over. Not sure what I want to do with it. All right. Repair these guys. All right. Anything you want to buy? Nah. We're good. All right, we did a good job. What is that? Oh. Okay, let us head to the sheep. Mm -mm -mm. Your rations yet? Let me look at the map. Right. Is that my ship? That's geothermal power plant. That one ship? No. Maybe it's over here. There it is. It's way over here. Special. Yes. All right. Let's get in my ship. We get everything you need. I guess we can take off. Are you with me? Yep, you are. There he is. Hey, my ship didn't kill you. Well. I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. You do that. That was a good thing you did, Captain. Helping to bring the deserters and Edgewater folks back together. I hope you rest well on that. You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? You sound worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Let me guess you're not a drinker yourself. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. Okay. Well, if you want to talk about it, I'm happy to listen. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, fine. So, let's go over here. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Why, well, thanks. What kind of you say, Captain Marvel? What can I do for you, Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Okay. I like this gun is really big. I think this... There. All right, so... Oh, there's the ladder. Go up here. 
Sucker into our engine. All right. Looks like we got it humming. How about that? Pretty good, huh, Parvati? 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 All right, down we go. Captain. I installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Okay. Hold on, I need to take care. Nope, we're done. Request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Okay. Good, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side Ew. effect of thawing, I assure you. Get to the point. I'm just gonna go to my head. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? So now you're asking me to get involved with black market. Or I could put a couple light here between me and Halcyon. Can I land on a planet? Why do I need an app? Let's do that one. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Terraformed badly. And almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. Uh-huh. Like the black marketeer. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Huh. I like to have working with a criminal. Criminals? Goodness, no. Smuggling is a perfectly legitimate business venture. If misappropriating board property is a crime, well then, throw me in Tartarus. Plenty of ways to make money in Halcyon, you know. Not all are above board. Oh, <laughs> above board, above the Halcyon board. Get it? Yeah, okay. Ah, well, sophisticated humor, puns. Appreciation of puns is a sign of advanced intellect, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can I land somewhere outside Tel Bay? In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. Then I don't want to go there. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Kelly. Uh, what stopped me from leaving Halcyon altogether? 
Without a skip drive? Good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Uh, fine, I'll go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. You do that. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. I call okay. it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Okay. I'll put it to your use. Uh, you want to explain what a holographic shroud is? Yeah, I'd like to know that. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. You the sound shroud like it. changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. You mentioned this thing has limitations. People will actually fall for this? Things that, yeah, limitations. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Oh, got it. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Why do I need a gadget for this? Couldn't I just steal a uniform or something? <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy cereal? What inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Oh, nice. Like a tic-tac. People will watch your fall for us? Seems far-fetched. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is they don't expect it. The shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. Hmm. What is use? Thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. Okay. And remember, don't trust the board. I won't. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Got it. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, Please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. I want to go to my captain's quarters and see about this shroud, man. Oh, wow. Pavar's not with me. That's weird. I'll grab a cat. All right. Nobody peeking. around a little bit. I can transfer things in there. Whoa. Okay, cool. Wish I could play that game. What's this? Welcome, Kevin. Uh, messages for Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne's unread messages. From U Bedford. Oh, I forgot to mention in my previous message. Silly me, I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate with a heart of, well, steel. It's not exactly bored of fruit, so don't go showing it around to your space buddies. I hope it will amuse you while you're out adventuring. Any similarities to a certain someone are entirely intentional. Okay. Archive messages? There's a lot of them. Damn, we'll just skip them for now. Pick up the holographic shroud. Holographic shroud project shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits 
to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. Key. So I guess I need to go on. Uh, That's kind of cool. What are these things? All right, whatever. Oh. Little door. I don't want anybody peeking inside my door. All right. So let's. Uh, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's see what my uh, crew's doing. What's this? She's just chilling out here, isn't she? Yeah. So this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? What do you think of the ship? Yeah, I'd be awful to say that. That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA-120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board certified mechanic. That's the ship's computer. It's not intelligent, but it does a good <laughs> imitation. Apparently, it is the one who actually finds it. Ada, how about you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. So you're going to call her it, not she? Though my voice is currently pitched to suggest female, I possess no gender. Any pronoun preferred by the user is acceptable. Yeah, how you like that? Hello. I am not a board certified mechanic, but my dad was. He <laughs> taught me all he knew. Do you, you understand? Why are you talking that way? Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it. You're doing it. I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. What do you think, Pavarotti? Is it safe to fly now that we've got the regulator? Ada, Pavarotti will be fixing you from now on. Yeah. I am at your disposal, Ms. Parvati. You will find the technical schematics in the engineer's locker. Though I'm afraid Captain Hawthorne has lost the owner's manual. I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma <gasps> oh, torch. Oh, I want a grilled cheese sandwich now. Dang. You, did you learn your trade from your father? It sounded like it when you were talking to Reed. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. Mm. Reed seemed to have it in for you. You worked beside your father your whole life? I don't see the humor. He meant funny as in odd it's not normal for anyone to do as their parents you take a vocational test that decides your schooling and your career when i tested out for maintenance everyone figured it was on account of my dad they were real unhappy with us but you actually are good at this and you enjoy it well i'm good at making things work the way they ought not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule there's times i'm working deep in the guts of a loader getting it all running perfect then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. After school, you moved straight back to Edgewater? Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big ol' hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Do you get much time with him after you get back from school? I thought I should put it up. Yeah. About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Yeah. Dad yeah. never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. Yeah, all right. So where is this dude? Let's see if we can find him. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what that is. 
I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's my place. So I'm figuring they, he must be up here somewhere. What is that? Ask Ada about the sand unit. There's a, leave the automax alone. We're going to go talk to Ada right now. What the hell is that thing? Is it going to come to life and start shooting up my ship? We need to know this right now. Uh, this, this way. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I don't think about the automatic gathering dust in Jenner's closet. The unit is a cleaning sand. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Alright. Well, I'll come See you back soon, and talk to you. And I want to figure this out first. Back to my quarters. Make yourself at home, Captain. That's what I'm doing. Alright. Experimental notes. That. Do not forget, you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance automatical in Emerald Vale's scrap heap during your last job. It should not be too difficult to get it up and running. With a few mo key modifications, I can envision a combat-capable variant. Some might say, a clean, mean, killing machine. Should be fun. A-H. Second one. Experimental note, that <laughs> removal of factory standard parts SUDS steeper was successful. Deliver the delivery of combat modified replacements part acid steeper has been delayed. Progress setback is estimated now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to, meh, but I do. Third same result. I'm giving. What, what's it going to tell me to do next? Find an acid steeper. Okay. I'm giving up the hope of the delivery. The part is lost in transit, and it's not turning up anytime soon. But good news. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows <laughs> the broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an acid steeper. I can er, fetch. Filch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Annie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following this next pit stop. Back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details come later. Okay. So we now know that. So let's take a look at our uh, our journal. Our Ficker Max. The Frightened Engineer. Thomas said he knows that at least one volume... Well, I guess I should go back and do that. I almost see about doing that. We'll head back eventually. Codex. Well, let's see what Vicar Max going on here. Oh yeah, he got stuff. I've got some points for this guy. Uh, how many points? One available. Uh, threat generated. His base health would be a good idea. Decrease the amount of threat this companion generates. Increase the amount it generates. Increase your hack skill when Max is in the party. Well, you know what? If he, let's do this. There. And apply. There we go. Journal. I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, so, uh, you know we should try to find that last journal. We really should. Might have to head back down to Edgewater. And I'll have to find... Let's look at that journal one more time and see... No, there. Pretty sure I found all those places, so but we'll see. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably go down there and take a look. And when I find it, I'll, I'll re restart the episode. I think he also promised reward. You found the I found. Oh, there it is. You found the first volume in Edward. Excuse me, say you found the second volume in Edward Cemetery. Provardy mentioned her father reading a volume of a younger space guard man killing her when he was working shifts in the cannery. You found a mention of Parry far in the old terminal that he took a volume of spacer's guide mechanical into the cannery and left it 
in an unused office. A log of the reception's desk of the geothermal plant mentioned that there might be a volume of uh, in the plant's repair bay. According to the note you found the repair bay, there's a copy of the manual down in the place called the pit. You know what? We're going to go back. We have to go back. We have to do this. Because it's going to dry meat. Into oh, wow, that's cool. Where is... Uh, where is it? What is that? There's Terra. Ephesus Terra 2. Oh, whoa. Welcome to the system map. Here you see all the planets in the system as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship any location that you have unlocked, and though some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving team plants are considered extremely dangerous, and all employees are encouraged to remain at home and work. Thanks for telling me that. But I think I want to go down to that so we can do that. I'm taking Bavardi with me. I can take both? You know what? Vicar can stay here. Okay. So let's go into the cannery and see if we can find... Are these different kind of... Vending machines? I don't think so. Alright, so let's go inside the cannery and we'll see if we can find this last piece because I, I want to make sure all these side quests are done. Are you with me? Okay, you are. Oh, cool. I landed right there. <laughs> Nate. Okay. Let's head to the cannery. All right, cannery worker. Oh. All right, so we're here. So there's supposed to. Wait a minute. Let's look at the journal. Wait, so I, there's something close by here? Blue slips, sink ships. I know that. But I thought it was supposed to be here. I thought it was here. Uh, but isn't this like the pit or something here? Do that. <laughs> so I guess it's not here. And I gotta go out. Alright, let's get out of here. I thought maybe it'd be here. here. Scannery worker. No, I don't want that. So I'm guessing maybe I have to go out there. This is interesting. more than one mission on on I don't all right well, let's see what happens here so I have do I have and I have to give it to him because it's telling me to go to him 
wie ich schon eingeschaut habe, Leute. Oh, it's telling me that's where the engineer volume. Oh. Ooh, what's that? Yeah. We're going this way. <laughs> Guess they came back. down here. I'm pretty sure we got rid of everything. Man, I was here before and I could have got this damn thing. There's all the robots. Robots. Yep, there's the pit. So that's what I'm guessing. What's eating you? I'll just use myself. There it is. This whole time it's right there in front of me. <laughs> Alright. Let's go give him the... Give that dude. So, let's see. Can I fast travel to the place? Center. Where am I at? Oh, I can't travel fast travel there. Return to Thomas. Alright. So I guess I can't fast travel. Uh, this way I go? Yeah. Nope. Gotta go this way. Hello, Michael Vardy. Let's go. I hit it. Shoot. Wrong way. She was gonna climb, she did. Alright, let's get out of here. Guess I can get out. Nope, not that way. Or something. stuff. How did they not see that? Crazy. Oh, what's up here? Did I, was I here before? Oh yeah, I was here. I remember now. Alright, so let's get out of here. Okay, where is this dude? He's over there. Okay, so let's get out of here first. Gotta be careful of running those freaking big apes. Should be over there. Yeah, there they are. We'll ease our way around this way. Keep our distance. We don't want those suckers coming over here. Is he an edge bar? Cause wow, they so they did come over. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
I didn't know they already came over. Alright, well that's awesome. I didn't know they all came back, so that's pretty cool. Where's he at? Oh, so he's, he's in here. Cool. Oh! There this you are, where the magic happens? Well, science. But it still happens. What kind of magic again? <laughs> all right. We're talking toast again. Okay. So let's talk then. Any luck finding one of those engineering manuals? Well, now that you mention it, today's your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. Well, which one? Elusive Part 3. Someone stashed it away inside an old geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. I know, you right? really went exploring down there? Yes, I did. Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. It was. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm going to be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Cool. Well, all right. Awesome. So I guess we'll stop here since we did what we had to do. It was fantastic. And uh, what did he give me anyways? Uh, I don't know. Whoa. Watch what I have on. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Not that. Is, oh, is that it? Electro charge surface. Armor mod gadget. This mod stuns and damages melee attackers. <gasps> oh, I like that. I'll be putting that sucker on. Geographic scanner. Armor utility mod. Increase the range of which internet interactable objects are highlighted. That's cool. Mr. Ouch. Damage and dealt from power attacks. I like the name Mr. Ouch. Nine gale step. Uh, decrease the noise made while moving. And this one's backpack. All right, cool. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you like you saw. We finally finished all the missions here in Halcyon, which is awesome. So uh, leave a like if you like you saw, and subscribe if you continue on watching me here in my adventures in the outer worlds. Hopefully, we'll get me out of space in my next episode. So, thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye bye.